Hey, Divine Ones, it's Latoya Okia, your life coach and your motivational speaker. And if you are new to the podcast, if you are new to the YouTube channel, to those of you who are not familiar with me, I am a mindset and purpose coach, and I help women to transform their lives by reprogramming their mind for success in life, business, and relationships. And also, I help them to discover their purpose and to find their gifts. So if that sounds like something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel and make sure you follow the podcast. Leave me a rating on iTunes. So yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Divine Destiny with Latoya podcast. So getting right on into the topic for this episode, I want to talk to y'all today about you have to be the first partaker in the fruit. You have to be the first partaker. And, And this is why I always say that we have to know the word of God. We have to know God's word. We have to know not just in order to quote script quote scripture, (laughs) not just in order to quote scripture, but in order for us to understand God when he speaks to us, because that's the way God speaks to us. He speaks through his word. So if we don't know his word, it will seem like God is speaking a foreign language and it it will be like, no, I blow English. Like I, I don't understand. I don't comprehend. So that's why we need to know the word. And that's why we got to get all up and through that Bible. Because when God speaks, God speaks from his word. And that's a word that God gave me. He said, you know, you got to be the first partaker in the fruits. He said, how can you expect anybody else to love you if you don't love yourself? And I said, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So what is the fruits? You're the fruit. You're the fruit. You're the fruit. And so how can you expect anybody else to come and and take care of your fruit and to taste of your fruit and to, you know, just be with you and enjoy you, enjoy your company and love you if you don't first take the time to enjoy you and love you and and take care of you. So what does that mean? You have to you have to take that time and go through that season where you got to develop yourself work on yourself. You got to get new knowledge. You got to heal from the past. You got to discover your purpose. You got to find every gift that the Lord has placed inside of you. And then you got to begin to use those gifts to help bring meaning and purpose to other people's lives. That's how you serve. And in your serving, you fulfill your purpose. That's how you fulfill your purpose by serving the gifts. Cause see, God gave you a purpose But he knew I couldn't just throw you out here with a purpose if I don't give you something to fulfill this purpose. So that's where the gifts come in. And that's what I help my clients to discover through coaching. I help them to discover their purpose and find their gifts because they go hand in hand. There there can be no purpose without gifts and there cannot be a gift without a purpose. So during your time of you, you know, being alone, being alone, you are what well, you should be developing yourself and discovering new things about yourself that you did not know about you. So during that time, you may want to start working out. You may be like me and you may not be, you know, one of those, you know, uh, workout, workout, workout people, but you may just like to take a brisk walk. Cause that's me. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, just, just give me a brisk walk. Give me about three miles on the trail, walking, uh, walking outside on the trail, just enjoying, taking in nature, getting my, getting my, getting my little cardio in, get my heartbeat racing, take that brisk walk. And then I'm out of there. Okay. I ain't, I ain't into all that extensive, you know, um, turbo flex 1000 workout and all that type of stuff. And, and I'm not knocking anybody that do that. Okay. It's just not for me. But I do believe that you should work out. We just all have different levels that we're on. Okay. So, but yeah, that's one of the things that I discovered about me during my time that I've been to myself. And, you know, just taking that time and and not necessarily saying that you have to be single to do this. You be married, you have a partner, but just taking that time to yourself to know more about you. Because in the more the more that you know about you it makes you a better partner. It makes you a better wife. It makes you a better husband. It makes you a better mother, a better father. You become a better person all the way across the board. 
just by you knowing about yourself, just by you becoming familiar with yourself. So during that time, you know, part of, part of, part of a, well, an example of you being the first partaker in the fruit is meditation. Meditation. All meditation is, is you becoming familiar with yourself. Meditation means to become familiar with. So all you really doing is sitting down, calming yourself down, doing some deep breathing and start thinking about what you've been thinking about. Like how many times do you actually think about what you think about and just spend that time with yourself to, to just kind of, you know, clear your thoughts, clear your mind and just meditate, just meditate. So that is also you being the first partaker in the fruit is you knowing yourself, you becoming familiar with yourself and then taking courses, take courses online, uh, not just educational academic courses, but take courses that are going to pour into you emotionally, spiritually, um, you know, get more involved with, with meetings and groups and, um, you know, I was on a, a zoom call today with other coaches and it was just so refreshing. It was just so, it was just everything for me. And it was in the middle of the day. It was just what I needed. And it just gave me so much. Um, I mean, it just really revived my spirit just to be in something new and do something different, you know, cause I'm always on zoom sessions, but I'm usually the one that's speaking. So it felt good for me to be able to just sit back and just listen and be able to network with other coaches. You know, it just felt really good for me to be able to do that. So, you know, I did something for me. I did something for myself. So I was partaking in the fruit. I was the first partaker in the fruit. So now when I'm getting ready to go get my kids, you know, I have something that I can pour into them. I have something that I can give them. I can give them something of me because I've given myself something of me. I've, I've taken in the fruit first. So now I'm ready to go share the fruit with everybody else. So that's what I want you to begin to do. It's not selfish for you to do things that are going to serve you, do things that are going to pour into you, develop a schedule where you, you continuously feed yourself because the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded forth from the mouth of God. What does that mean? You have got to learn the truth about who God says you are. And then you got to do more things that are going to support who God says you are. So if God says you are successful, you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not below. You got to get yourself around people that say the same thing about you. People that people that are encouraging you people. You got to surround yourself with greatness. You got to do that for you first before you can go be great for anybody else. You got to do that for yourself first. You got to be the first partaker in the fruit. You got to take care of yourself. You got to love yourself. And the more you love yourself and take care of yourself, watch how much of a better partner it makes you for your husband, for your wife, for your, your kids, for your family members, your ministry, your business. Watch how much better it makes you for your clients. When you take time to pour into you, when you take time to love on you, to appreciate you, to cherish you, to take care of you, you become the first partaker of your fruit. Your clients can tell the difference. They can tell the difference. They know when you running on empty and you drained, I'm telling you, it comes across in your coaching sessions. It comes across in your videos. It comes across in your content. They can tell, they can tell that something is off about you. So be the first partaker in your fruit today. And just by you doing that, it makes your fruit even sweeter and so much more satisfying to everybody else. So I love y'all so much. I got to get going. This is a short episode, but replay it a couple times. Let it get all up and through your spirit. <laughs> I want you to make sure you go to my website. I am Latoya When you go to the website, I want you to go to the coaching packages tab. When you go to the coaching packages tab, you're going to see some courses there. I have a course to help uh, entrepreneurs build a successful business plan. I have a course that where I can certify you as a life coach based off of what I've learned through years of coaching unofficially and officially. Um, so I have a program to where I certify coaches 
to do exactly what I do. So if you are an aspiring life coach, if you would like to become certified through my program, you can uh, inbox me. Well, I'm sorry, you can send me a chat message through the website or you can email me at support at IamLatoyaOkia.com. If the chat message would be better for you, when you go to the site, you'll see it at the bottom of the page. Just send us a chat message. Say, hey, I'm interested in the certification. Can I get some more information? And we'll give you some more information about the certification. If you feel that you may need to get on a discovery call with me, a 30 minute free discovery call, kind of chat with me one on one for 30 minutes just to see, you know, get some more insight about the certification. Or maybe you're thinking about just getting coaching. You would like to book a coaching package. You may be struggling with finding your purpose or finding your gifts. You may be struggling with things within your mindset. That's what I work on. That's what I help my clients with. I help them to reprogram their mindset for success in their life, in their business, and in their relationships. So if that's something that you're struggling with, don't be afraid to reach out to me. Reach out to me. If you're not really sure about it, there's a, a page on the site where you can book your discovery call. Book your discovery call and we'll go over it. We'll talk about what your needs are, what your pain points are. It's a really brief, really quick conversation that we do over the phone. It's kind of like a consultation. And so we just talk about, you know, what your pain points are, what you struggle with, where you feel stuck. And I tell you, uh, you know, my recommendations, I tell you what I believe is going on as far as your mindset, as far as your purpose, as far as you finding your gifts. Okay. Okay. Even if you choose not to work with me through the discovery call, if you feel that coaching is just not for you, or maybe you just don't feel that I'm the right fit for you, I want you to walk away from the session knowing exactly what the problem is. So I help you identify what the real problem is. So if you ever want to get that fixed in the future, you know where to pick up. You know where to pick up. So I love y'all so much. Y'all be blessed. Go to the website, IamLatoyaOkia.com, sign up for an online course, book your coaching package, send us a chat message if you have any questions. And I am Latoya Okia, your life coach and your motivational speaker. I love you so much. Y'all know what I tell y'all. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. With God, all things are possible. I will check in with y'all next time.